Hi everyone, I'm Rashmi and I hope all of you are having a good Sunday. Feels like it's a little dark here so I'm going to try and put a light on. So I've got a lamp here which I'm trying to go and switch on but it seems very dull. Now why is it not working properly? Maybe because I haven't plugged it in. So let me plug it in and try again much better so now we have light so this light clearly needs to be plugged in to this power source so that it can shine now this kind of reminds me about our bible passage for today it's taken from gospel according to john chapter 15 and we are going to read verses 1 to 8 shall we quickly watch it together jesus said to his disciples I am the true vine and my father is the vine grower. He takes away every branch in me that does not bear fruit and every one that does he prunes so that it bears more fruit. You are already pruned because of the word that I spoke to you. Remain in me as I remain in you. Just as a branch cannot bear fruit on its own unless it remains on the vine, so neither can you unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit because without me you can do nothing. Anyone who does not remain in me will be thrown out like a branch and wither. People will gather them and throw them into a fire and they will be burned. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever you want and it will be done for you. By this is my Father glorified, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Right, now I'm sure most of you have seen grapes and maybe even eaten them. And if you see how grapes grow, they grow in bunches, in something called vines. And these vines come out of the ground and they are what gives the grapes the necessary nutrition and the things that you need for the grapes to actually look like fruit. And these grapes have to stay close to the branches and the vine to keep them to give fruit. Now what would happen if one of these grapes fell off the vine and was just in the sun for a little while? It wouldn't be fresh and juicy anymore, would it? It would actually shrivel up and be like withered. Now in our Bible passage today, Jesus talks about grapes and wine. People in those days knew a lot about farming and planting. And a lot of them actually had vineyards where they grew grapes. And Jesus tells us three important things in this passage today. The first one he says is that he says, we need to be connected to the vine. Jesus says, he is the vine and we are the branches. Now what does that mean? He is trying to explain and tell us how important it is for us to stay connected to him. Just as that vine provides the nutrition to help the fruit grow on the plant, Jesus gives us the nutrition we need to grow in our faith. And the branches on that grapevine have to stay connected to the vine so that they can produce delicious fruit. Otherwise, they will dry up. And if we walk away from Jesus, the same thing can happen to us. Thing number two is that we may sometimes need pruning. The Bible passage also tells us that God is the gardener. And he cuts off each branch that bears no fruit. And sometimes if we look at our lives, we know that there are certain things that are not helping us to grow as children of God. And these are the things that we need to prune. It may be things that we are doing which are wrong. Or maybe the way we think or the way we behave towards certain people that we need to let go of. So those are things that we need to think of and remove from our life so that we can grow close to God. The third thing is that staying close to Him helps us to bear fruit. We need to stay close to Christ so that he can produce fruit in us. Now this doesn't mean that you're going to sprout grapes or grow any other fruit from your body. But spiritual fruit refers to things that help others and shows people that Jesus is living in our lives. What are these things? These are things like love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, faithfulness. So how do we make sure that we stay connected to Jesus? We can read his word, study the Bible, 
we can pray, talk to God and also listen to Him. We can go to church so that we can be connected with other branches that are also growing in Him. Most importantly, we recognize that Jesus is doing work and producing fruit through us. So there's nothing special that we have to do. All we have to do is to stay connected to the vine of Jesus and let the Holy Spirit develop its fruit. And for that, we rely on God, staying close to Him and thanking Him for giving us life and hope. Now, why don't we say thank you to Him for that now? So remember that staying close to God helps us to make sure that we are pruned and we don't have any unnecessary things in our lives. And staying close to Him also helps us to bear more fruit. Right, shall we pray now? Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you Lord for everything that you do in our lives and we thank you that you are connected and through us that you are able to bear much fruit in our lives. We pray and ask you Lord to remove all the things in our lives that don't help us to grow close to you. And we ask you that you would continue to make sure that we stay connected to you in everything that we do. We pray and ask Lord that you would be with this country and all those who are suffering because of this pandemic right now. And we ask that you would guard us, guide us and keep us safe. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Thank you and I'll see you sometime soon. God bless.